This is Twit. It, it, I don't know if, if you were like this, but when I was a kid, it wasn't just building the kit. It was making it work and then saying, I wonder what happens if I put this wire here. I wonder what happens if I move this over there. Well, yeah, you actually had intent to break. I was, yes. uh, or like, that was your purpose afterwards. I'd be breaking, then trying to fix. Say, okay. Constantly. Okay. Well, so, well, yeah, you know, same kind of thing. Exactly. Okay. We, both, we both tinker. We both tinker. So, what we're going to do is we're going to show you some of the simple tips on how to put together one of these kits. I'm going to give this awesome. one to you. Yay. You get the red one. Red is my favorite color. It just yes. doesn't look very good on me. So, yeah, I'm very uh, happy that my project kit is I, I do blue I do blue here and okay. uh, you Red know there, and blue. there are a few things you want to look for when you're when you're buying a project kit the first thing is you want clear and detailed instructions and actually uh, Greg's gonna go over to the Wayne and Lane well, web page for the instructions for this kit you mean Brian oh, I'm sorry Brian Brian uh, Greg's Greg's running around somewhere else and it you know you want something that looks like this where it actually gives you pictures it actually shows you what it's supposed to look, look at like that. It even says greeting know-how visitors exactly see them I mean, that they love us they love us and you want that because you don't want to get halfway through a project not have it work and then have no idea how to fix it Wayne and Lane is nice because they they really are part of that maker movement they want you to figure it out they want you to have the resources of other people who have actually made these kits